whilst doing low cost and having a coffee, I hear noises. Hi everybody! What is going on here? You may remember us from such films as Focus ST, Piston Failure Cylinder 1. This is the failed R9DA ST250 hump. That car is no longer with us, I am utterly delighted to say. Today, what's really cool and what we want to do is take out said crack piston and I'm going to stick it in like a glass cabinet because in all my years of driving hot hatches and you know fast cars, track days and everything, never have I ever toasted an engine. So this is this is trophy worthy, right? And it was a lot of pain, a lot of agony. So we're gonna pull it apart, get that piston, and I'm gonna you know clean it up and trophy it. We're also gonna try and sell some of this because it, I know it's a four-cylinder engine, but it's still using my shit all this space. So we're gonna try and shift the cylinder head with some cash in that, the turbo, maybe the block, the clutch flywheel, whatever we can sell, and just get it out because we're, we're going through this kind of cleansing phase, trying to sort out our lives and eat more healthy pot noodle options with low calories and have less feeling about it, less hoping. Pivotally, to get the piston out, we'll need to have the bottom end off, sure enough, because I've seen this before. So should we take the piston out first with no. this in the air on the crane? No. No, oh, okay. What you're going to want to do first before you do anything is start with the basics. Sump? Yes, get the oil out of it. Oh, oh there's oil on it, of course. There's oil on it with the fluids, never get green. I love pulling the heat off it. <laughs> We're going to need the cat out here. <laughs> I said we'd need the cat out, I was completely fing wrong. The oil is that cold that it just pulled out the syrup. It's interesting, the oil is perfectly black, I don't see any shit in it. I reckon this piston failure will be so insignificant it won't even be worth claiming because you won't even see him wrong. I'm going to be honest, I think it's Ringland failure. Ah, it is Ringland failure. Aye. If we were being really fastidious about putting this engine back together, I'd be sampling this oil. Now, sampling oil is something that doesn't seem to be really taken off too much with people, but is invaluable. What oil sampling will allow you to do is see what metallic elements are sitting in the oil. Those metallic elements will tell you, believe it or not, what's failing. The degree of metallic particles in there will tell you whether it's ring line failure, piston failure, crank failure, bearing failure, because they're all made out of different metals, and that will then, you know, give you some clues. Yep. Huh. It tells you what size the transmission cycle is at. As, uh, believe it or not, not common. Obviously, because it's flawed and it's been built by absolute fucking mongoes. The mirror is not massively worn. No. See if it's still ridges. Okay, that's fine. When it comes time to taking off one of these, you're going to need some gunpowder. Uh, these get put on with deadlock for obvious reasons. If the bolts come loose, your engine kind of splits in half. Uh, so, yeah, you will need to bop off. That's all the bolts out. Yeah, it's time. <clears throat> right, make the cash register noise. That's cash money. It's not scored or anything, but you can probably machine it. It's got a wee bit of value. You've got a heat cycle in there. Yeah, good for you. It's done 75,000 miles. That wasn't actually as terrible as a field. That is the oil, is the oil cooling it. Right, rather than external units. See, see them, see them real cars, see them proper cars, the grown up shoes. These are hooks, so you can just take a f***ing strap off. <laughs> but no, not this. How do we take the inlet manifold off and the exhaust manifold off? Well that's right, you can't take the exhaust manifold off because it's f***ing gay. Here's some stuff. Don't throw it the f*** up the waffle. I'm banning all the back lines and all that garbage. Ah, there you go, that's full gas. That chain is properly rigid. Well, that's definitely not the chain, Taylor. No, it's not the okay. cams already. Um, let me get a crank off. Ready? Yep. This is bending. <laughs> How not to do engine disassembly 101. Ah. Mind you, I'm actually the fighting. There you go. If that's ever proof, that's proof, proof of a problem. 
Sí, o chapa. That's what. Nah, see if we can't get it off. That's me. That's me coming off. Oh. Well, we've got a number of options here. Okay. Right. I have, I have option one as we take a break. Yeah. We've acknowledged that we're not small gentlemen. Neither of us are particularly uh, super legera. So, if anything, we're more Cadillac esque. Well, I'm definitely Cadillac esque. Um. So yeah, this is that's a nice step change by the way. So we've got our new. Replacement Cadbury's and Galaxy, it looks magic. And then um, these things, these are the Doug's Buzz. They're called mug shots. They come from the same place my buzz gun does. And much like my buzz gun, they're incredibly good value. Which what's your thoughts? The taste is pretty sensational, isn't it? So this is chip shop curry variety. Honestly, I mean it doesn't actually taste like chip shop curry. I don't know what the hell it tastes like, but it is to die for. Curry. Tastes like some form of curry. This is our thing now, because you may have noticed before, we usually show up with, yeah, and then that's each. Aye. Usually lunch is more of a chips, cheese and curry soup with a side of half pounder cheeseburger with fried onions. See if you just tell me that while I eat this, I could imagine that I'm eating that. <sighs> Mate, I, I love that. Colin Chapman, I hope I'm making you proud. I am adding lightness. Yeah. So, what has life become? This is good because if we live longer by not dying to bowel cancer or whatever other array of deathly things come to being a fat we can make more episodes. We're doing this for you. What, what, are, what is two letters between pals? Is it L I D L and L D I? So it's A R S E. Right. W I F E gets it all. So I'm not able to go John. Now I'm away from Try that. Don't agree with me. I got a pint of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> the only other option we've got is we just cut the chain. I have no objection to that, it needs to come off anyway because it's it's going around the time. Yeah. The thing is, how how easily can we extract it? If we cut it cleanly, can we just pull it through? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I cut the chain now. I mean, it's no going back to the end of use, mate. If anybody takes that cylinder head, they'll replace the chain. Yeah, true. Okay. Hey, right, ready? You put as much stock in this as you can down here. Aye, go for it. Hey, oh, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> Seriously, God, you may need words. One stupid thing to pick in my mouth. Holy cow, that's a... Chain and a half, isn't it? That's a whopper. What's that hanging out of the bottom, mate? Right? Oh, what's this? What's what? Hey. Oh. Okay, what, you, what that is is complete f***ing destruction. You know what that is? What is it? Do you know I, what that I, is? I know exactly what it is, it's pissed in there. Yeah. There you go. Take this one and beat your lanes with it. I'm going to wear this as a f***ing necklace. I'm pretty fool! I ain't getting on no plane, fool! Mechanical holder, I'm pretty fool! These will need to be uh, retained in the correct order because right. they're lapped into each lobe. I'm in danger of breaking out of my sweat here. Oh, it doesn't just come off, does it? You know what I mean? Like, sledgehammer or something? Oh, okay, it does just come off. <laughs> One cylinder head gasket. Goodbye. <clears throat> I'm, I've got to say, mate, I am disappointed at the lack of destruction that's actually going on with this. Ah, it's all down the side, however. Where's my phone to eliminate the cylinder walls? I hear. The score in here, see it? There you go. Oh, yeah. North South there. It's not terrible though, like this is... It, it's it's not catastrophic, man. I reckon this is rebuild material and, you know, that's what I'm going to pitch it as. Right, get in. We're going to lift this up and set it on this face. Oh, look at that later with the head on. Oh, here comes the door. That's interesting. What's that? Well, I'm going to guess balance the equipment. No cars, no nothing. Well, we can't have it last in 100k. Oh, this is an interesting device. Right, is it? 
Oh, it's got a can of hang on it. That is that. Oh my days, this weighs a lot. Harmonic balance, I'm going to say. Ah, okay, it weighs that. Yep. 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 So, that was slightly so much. Oh, yes, I was right. That is well worth framing. That is catastrophically f Is that impressive enough for you? Aye, uh, that's, 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 there's your problem. Yes. That is why I don't buy four. F*** me. Like that, that is pretty catast catastrophic, man. Jesus. That's catastrophic. Look at the thumb marks down the side there. That's me going clean. Yeah? This thing's in here going clean. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad, see if it was a tiny wee like crack of the wee f***ing fuming. Yeah. Because you've never seen it. Nobody's going to make you ask what's wrong with that. <laughs> um, this was going to be an all one day shot, but it's Tommy highlighted to me. I've come up with different fire today. So, it's a different day. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's the same life, Covid me. I'm a, dum -dum -dum. I'm a clatty bastard, so I'm still wearing the same stuff. To be fair, these haven't exactly been cleaned. Uh, it's just what I grabbed when I came up. Yesterday, we took out piston one. What we're going to do today, is take the L3 pistons and rods out. Um, I'm going to sail the short walk with the crank. The chances are the cylinder will need a bit of machining, but it's a potential project base for someone to build an ST or an RS Smart 3 forged unit. So yeah, um, it creates space in here and gets some cash money for the next project, which will be around probably. Oh. First piston number three. Not so happy. Oh dear. Although, I don't think that Tetris comes from piston three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, mate? I can still see cross action, mate. It looks alright. It's I'd... just that one pickup bit. I mean, look, there's. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Some score in there. Ah, they'll be scoring from where they're. No, they're scoring like that in all the cylinders, so. I mean, it needs an expert to really dictate, but my understanding is what you're looking for is indentations that you can feel. I mean, have a feel, it's smooth as silk. Uh, okay. Cool, well, hopefully it'll go to a nice builder. It'll make a nice, powerful unfold and have happiness, and it won't be me. Closing thoughts. Don't buy a Focus ST. I ah, address, it's a good car. Just um, don't tune it, don't tune it, <laughs> or be aware that this can happen. Mm. Um, buy one in the mindset, <clears throat> you're going to basically force it until you get it, because even after we changed the engine, all I thought about was, yep, probably going to kill another one, um, and it just ruined the whole car. So It's what I like to call busting the seal. As soon as you're busting the seal in the car, there's a pretty good chance you're never going to want to enjoy it again. And that sadly is what happened, and the reality is it's a nice enough car, but it's, it's a practical wagon, and it's, it's not really what we're about, to be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to get a wee bit crazy over the coming months. Make sure you're subscribed down here, and you hit the like button and all that jazz to find out what's happening. But I'm pretty sure that this man is done with four pots. <laughs>